Miss Letters. Today we're going to talk about hammerhead sharks. Isn't it an interesting creature? So what I think about them, well, I'm going to tell you where they got their name. That, their head. What do you guys think I should name my rainbow shark? How about rainbow? My, me and my mom made this shark today. Stay tuned for the end of the video and I'll tell you how to make one for yourself. Okay, let's get down to business. The unique thing about a hammerhead shark is about its head and its big dorsal fin. Hammerheads can see behind themselves. With a move to the right, they can see far behind themselves. With a move to the left, the same. Do you see its white set eyes? It helps them to see everything around them. Like here, here, their color is gray, greenish gray, and brownish gray, but they're never rainbow-like, and they always have a white belly. They're never rainbow-like mine, because I like rainbow, though. And red sharks have a T-shaped head because it helps them see better, and hunt better, and stay off the ocean floor better. Hammerhead shark's favorite food is stingrays. You want to know how they catch, up, catch them? I'll show it, you how they catch them with rainbow. They just do this. To find them. And then they pin them to the ocean floor. And eat them. This is also what they eat. Fish. Crabs, lobsters, squid, and other sea creatures. Another reason for their weird shaped head is because they can pick up electrical signals. We only have five. It's vision, smell, taste, hearing, and touch or feel. Sharks have all of that Plus, hammerhead sharks have one more. Picking up electrical signals, so that means they have six senses. Their nostrils smell, but hammerhead sharks don't breathe with their nostrils. They breathe with their gills. Well, in order to breathe, they have to keep swimming to pump water over their gills allowing them to breathe. They have triangular, triangular serrated teeth. I'm gonna tell you about their teeth, but hold on. My mom says I have to be really careful with this serrated knife. You wanna know what serrated is? It's just like this knife. See that part and that part? That's what serrated means. The last thing I want to tell you about is their cleaning station. They have a relationship with King Angelfish. They just get in a spot and King Angelfish clean all the gunk and parasites off them and other gunk. And if anything feels not, if anything doesn't feel too right, the hammerhead sharks will be like this. And the king and the king angelfish will go away. Like they'll be like this. Even if the shark doesn't like the angelfish, he just shrugs them off like that. And. He never eats the angelfish. 
when when parents have their baby pups, they're just about the same size. They have five to fifty pups. The baby's called a pup. My hammerhead shark is eighteen inches. A great hammerhead shark can go grow to twenty feet. A hammerhead shark can live up to 25 to 35 years. There's nine species of hammerheads. I'm I'm just gonna name two, all right? I wanna tell you their names that I remember. The great hammerhead that I have right here and the scalp head. That looks like it has scalps all, all over its head. That's all I have to share about hammerhead sharks. I want you to do two things for me. Make sure to subscribe to Lucas Learns and write a comment at the bottom to tell me what you learned about Lucas Learns. Wait, wait, wait! Three more things. Make sure to share with your friends and make sure to share with your kids. And stay tuned and my mom will sh tell you how to make rainbow. Bye. Hey, thank you so much for watching Lucas Learns. We really appreciate it. Thanks for everybody who's subscribed and commented and shared. Lucas loves doing these videos and he really loves it when people share. But anyways, we're gonna talk about the hammerhead shark craft that we did. So you just go find yourself a cardboard box and trace a hammerhead. Now I went on YouTube and I looked at a video and it's, I think I searched how to draw a hammerhead shark and I found something. So I just did my best. It's not a cookie cutter thing. It's not a stencil. Just do your best. That's the fun of it. So then you're going to go and uh, find some more cardboard and draw three hammerhead shapes. And then you'll take those and you'll glue them together with hot glue and then make sure they have slits cut in them before you glue them and then glue googly eyes. We have like a big bag of googly eyes and we use them for all of our crafts. It's, he likes it. So let's see, then you're gonna wanna color. Co have your kids color all over them and make sure they color the five slits for the gills with a black marker. And then you'll just put a little bit of glue in the slit of your head and just slam it onto the body of the shark and you're done. Of all the crafts that we've done, Lucas loves this one the most because he's played with it for hours and hours. So enjoy and thanks again for watching. And one last thing, Lucas has a joke for you. What do you call a shark in parachute pants? MC Hammerhead.